Hey, it's Mark again, RPM Tesla. We're finally releasing our memory foam self-inflating mattresses. Now these are very, very comfortable. They're not an air mattress. It's all memory foam. It's self-inflating. What does that mean? So anyway, let's take a look at what you're going to get in the box. This is our box, and that'll be inside of it. And this is where you put it when you're traveling, when you're not using it or when you just want to keep it somewhere stored. So it fits in even with our new refrigerator, it fits in the trunk, it fits in the trunk, and this is the whole Stargazer mattress. So let's take a look at how this fits in all the Tesla models. Uh, like it says on the website, as long as your back seats fold down, it fits, it fits great, it's unbelievable. If you can see here, it's over six feet tall, five inches thick, and when you open this up, it's going to self-inflate. You do not need an air pump, but we give you one anyway, and we give you one for deflating uh, as the main purpose. So that's the Stargazer. Let's go over to the front. Okay, now here's our Model Y front. You can see here that it fits nice and snug close it and lock it, no issues. So it's perfect for those road trips whenever you plan on going camping or you don't, but you might need to take a nap. All right, so let's get into the installation and a little more explanation about how it works. Okay, now to install it for the first time, um, we recommend that you, of course, fold your seats down in your Model Y or Model 3. Um, if you have any of the utility trays, we like to use them as a little bit of an extension or maybe like a headboard. So I like to put it right about there and it'll allow the mattress to go up as far as possible. So let's take a look in the pouch and see what you get. So with every mattress, we are including our deflating inflating pump. Now it's not required for inflating and it makes deflating faster. So you'll notice in this video, and it is rechargeable, this will last many, many, many minutes. It comes with a USB-C cord. Plug it in, charge it up. It has a battery level indicator on the back, so you'll know if it's getting low. You can always charge it in your car or in your home. So let's take a look at the mattress. The first time it's been opened, it's in the smallest state where we rolled it up and sucked all the air out. That's what makes it inflate. So you'll notice that uh, it's only about an inch thick, each layer that's rolled up. And what we're gonna do is shoot this in real time so you'll see how fast it inflates. So as soon as you unhook two straps, Roll it out. It should be pretty easy to find, figure out which way is forward. So the wider halves go to the front. Just like this. And now you are ready to inflate your mattress. So how do we inflate? All we're going to do is open up the valves. So the valves on the bottom let air in and let air out. Right, Paige? And now we're going to pull both of them like this, and you'll hear the air sucking in. So now, watch it. Watch in real time. I'll even talk so you know we're not speeding it up. But the mattress is fully self-inflating. Now, fully means 95%. We're going to show you how to get it to 100 which makes the mattress nice and firm. And it's wide all the way to the doors, all the way up to the seats. You can move your seats up. If you're not a tall person, you don't even have to move them at all. So you have plenty of room, and it's filling up, filling up, and it's filling up with air. And also the memory foam is just getting softer and softer. So again, this is not an air mattress. It's a memory foam self-inflating mattress. So we're going to let it keep going. 
And also we got sheets coming out if you want to buy your own sheets. Uh, a Twin XL works great. Fits all the way across, all the way down. We even got some pictures we'll show you here where we went to put it in different vehicles. And it fits great even in the Model 3. Your legs are in your trunk rather than in your lift gate. Um, also, while we're waiting, we have full block up camping kits coming which will make all the windows darker, as well as our retractable sunshade. All the windows will get dark. So if you have to sleep in your car, or if you want to sleep in it somewhere, camp in it, um, you'll have privacy. So it's inflating now, you can see, just about done. It takes only a couple minutes. Now, we're gonna top it off. So, we give you a set of um, adapters and uh, one is to inflate and one is to deflate so when you want to inflate a little bit you stick it on here and you plug up the second from last hole and we'll leave this one open now again these are one-way valves the yellow valve inside will not let air in and we also have a little guide over there we'll show you. Let's take a look at this while we have a second. So on the side here, we explain about the valves. So to inflate, you have to open up both the top layer and the bottom layer. When it's in use, you keep them both closed. When you want to manually deflate, you can open up the top and air will come out through the second one. If you're manually deflating, uh, which, of course, means you're going to roll it up and push the air out. And the last one is deflating with the air pump, which we're going to show you next. Okay, so let's top it off. So this is 95% inflated. If you were to sleep on this, air would come out, and you would feel the floor or the car underneath you. So you have to plug it up after you top it off, or you could sleep on it just like this. So we tell people in our showroom, hop on there and try it, see if you like it. But that's about 95%. So we're going to inflate a little more air just to finish it off like this. And the switch. Now watch how fast, about five seconds. You'll notice all the wrinkles will be pushed out. It's getting a little taller. Now it's getting nice and firm. Okay, so now turn it off, plug up both of these, and as soon as you pull it out, you want to push this in quickly, just like this. Pop it in. All right, so now it's inflated. Two people can sleep on it. Um, again, over six feet long, diagonally, we've got pictures of some customers that are 6'5", that have taken an X on it. It's great, it's fast to inflate for practical use. Sheets, pillows coming out soon. And now we're gonna show you how to roll it back up to store it. Um, this is also the state you wanna use if you're keeping it in your house. Now, not only is this a great mattress to travel with, it's also an extra bed. Uh, you don't need to buy an inflatable air mattress. You can keep this under your bed. Um, Storage-wise, as we explained on the website, we recommend you open the valve so it can breathe. You don't want to have the cells compressed um, all the time. So let's uh, show you how to deflate it. So pop the two side valves open, uh, the, the end valves. You also have a couple on the sides. And we'll pull it out of the car. Okay. And we're going to lay it on the ground. Now, notice on the sides here, Paige, we have two entry and exit valves here. We also have one on each side. So this is just a convenience. If you open up the back door on your car or the rear of the car, you can always add air or remove air. All the valves are connected. All the cells are connected. They're not individual separate chambers. And now we're going to show you how to quickly deflate it. So you hook it up, 
you put the deflate side in. Uh, let me show it like this. So it fits easy. And now we're taking all the air out. And all of the other valves are closed. So every valve door is closed except this one. So all the air is being removed this way. Shrink up and disappear. Almost. If you take the adapter off, and we're not reducing the volume, you can just use the end of the pump, and it will deflate even a little quicker. But again, a little fold, a little bit of pressure. It's going to help the air move to this end, and you'll see it start to deflate by its own weight. So again, this is the whole science behind a self-inflating mattress is that it's made with absorbing air cells and they are deflated when we ship them to you. So now we're getting near the end and deflating pretty quick. And you also don't need the vacuum to deflate. You can simply open up the valves and roll it up, throw it in your car. But this is the best way to get it collapsed as much as possible. So now you start on this end and you start rolling. And you roll it up tight and snug. You can see from the side that we're just going to keep it together tight. And it'll be back. And it's in those two straps, and it's a uh, smallest state possible. So roll it all the way up to the pump. And then yeah, I was going to say the same thing. You can get another second grip on it and really get it tight. And then we're going to slide the straps underneath. All the way underneath, all the way to that side. And then we're going to, we're going to pull and make them real snug. tight and snug. Now you can see in the front how it will fit. You can drop it back in there, put it back in the bag, but it really is amazing. It can go from this giant soft to this small adapter version. And each pump is included as we mentioned. One in the bag and everything we show here. And it's a nice drawstring with a strap on it. And drop it in. The Stargazer self-inflating memory foam mattress from RPM Tesla. And it's good in any car where your seats fold down. It's good as a separate bed, guest bed. And uh, you'll love sleeping on it. Thanks. Fitting in a plaid or any Model S, you can expect this kind of comfort and fitment. 
door to door coverage, TV, monitor, camping mode, what have you. There it is in the Model S with room to spare. Even in the Model 3, you could definitely sleep very comfortable in this amount of space. This is for the tight camper, but it definitely fits great. Your legs are in your trunk, but at least you're sleeping and resting. So you can see there's still plenty of room. You can deflate the mattress a little bit. You don't have to have it at the maximum of five or five and a half inches. And you can see how good it fits in the doors on both sides. And that's the Sargazer in the Tesla Model 3. Okay, even in the largest of Teslas, the Model X, this seven-seater model, it is quite amazing how the 50-inch width combined with the 70 seven inch length makes this unbelievable two people could definitely sleep in here very comfortable your legs might get a little cozy but it's just unreal how this rolled up mattress once you unsnap it and let it self inflate by pulling one tab comes out like this it's just the greatest most comfortable mattress you'll sleep on uh, sheets are coming, bedding, all kinds of great stuff. We love it here at RPM Tesla. And again, bring an extra mattress with you wherever you go. You never know where you might want to crash. If it's perfect, sub trunk, trunk, anywhere you want to roll it up. It's the new Stargazer self-inflating mattress. Last but not least is the Model Y. Now this will be the most popular model, of course. And you can just see how nicely it fits. It's amazing. We have personally slept on this in our models. We've slept on it in hotel rooms and the mattress is just great. You won't ever touch the floor or bottom out because it's not an air mattress. Thanks again for watching. And now we've got a couple more videos and photos here to show how the Stargazer competes with the competition. Here we want to show you how it stacks up against some of our known competitors. Okay, how does the Stargazer stack up to the Expo? As you can see, the thickness is one inch thicker and the compression is much easier on the air type mattress than the foam with the uh, urethane interior. And uh, otherwise very compatible, comparable.